with U.S. farmers 17 percent finished planting the 2017 corn crop and 6 percent complete in soybeans, cooler and wetter weather was forecasted across major growing regions of the country this week. Daily average soil temperatures at 4 inches Wednesday showed a low of 41 degrees at two locations in northeast and north central Nebraska. While rain could put a hold on planting progress, soil conditions might also affect seeds already in the ground. On Wednesday morning, we talked with Iowa State Extension Cropping System Specialist Mark Licht to learn more about the potential impact. We started by looking at corn and asked, when it comes to soil conditions, how cold is too cold? Well, you know, we, when we start thinking about planting dates and uh, when we want to really get out there with uh, corn planting, you know, generally the first thing we think about is uh, the soil temperatures being 50 degrees uh, and, and I'll say warming, um, you know, kind of looking at that uh, three to five to seven day forecast. Um, and so, you know, for a large part of the area, uh, you know, quite honestly, mu much of the corn belts were, um, you know, we're in that area right now in that time frame. Um, but I think the key here is what does that uh, five to seven day forecast look like? How are, how are those soil temperatures going to respond to what's going on? Can you explain how the cold or cold and wet soil impacts the seed? Yeah, so the, the, the biggest concern we have, especially with cold, wet soil, um, is really the first 24 to 48 hours after planting. Um, you know, this time frame is critical because that seed is uh, absorbing water. We call it imbibition of, of water. Um, and that's really the initiation of that germination uh, of that seed. Um, so a, a really quite critical time period. Um, we really don't like to see, you know, drastically colder, uh, wetter, you know, conditions around that time frame. Um, but really that time frame continues out from basically, you know, not only when we planted, but all the way out until when we have emergence occurring. Um, because, you know, cooler, wetter soils, um, well, do a couple things. You know, the first thing is, is that, you know, it just delays that uh, emergence rate. So how long it takes it to get from planting to emergence. Um, but then that combined with, you know, the colder weather um, really sets that seedling up for uh, root pathogens um, and, and pathogen infections on the mesocotyl of the, of the seedlings. So, um, you know, we, we like to see that plant come up really quickly um, just because it minimizes, you know, any issues or, or problems from a vigor standpoint, but also minimizes that uh, pathogen effect. So a little bit further on that, if you planted, let's say, earlier this week or this past weekend when soil temperatures were above 50 and now you see them dipping below 50, are there still associated problems there? Yeah, there are still associated problems. So, you know, the, the, you know, the, the fields that were planted, you know, five, seven, ten days ago, um, though they will still be affected, but to a lesser extent than those that were planted, you know, 24 to 48 hours ahead of, you know, this little cold period. We are still talking about yield decreases, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, more than likely. And, and a large part of that is because, you know, we're, we're really talking about how that seedling really gets off and, and grows. You know, we see this a lot of years. We see this uh, imbibitional chilling or this cold effect uh, at some point in time through that planting window. Um, and so when we see that, you know, we, a lot of times we can start comparing, okay, so what happens when we had something planted ahead of that versus, you know, a week or two weeks after that? Um, and, and in a lot of cases, the, the corn planted or the, even the soybeans planted, you know, after that cold snap, um, performed better than the, the crop that was planted ahead of it. Yeah, how different are soybeans here from corn? Yeah, you know, it, quite honestly, they're um, quite similar. Um, one of the bigger differences is that we tend to say that soybeans, you know, like that soil temperature to be a little bit warmer ahead of, you know, ahead of planting anyhow. Um, and, you know, I, I think by and large that's, that's true. Uh, a lot of times we don't think of soybeans as having this imbibitional chilling um, problem, largely because we're planting our corn first and by the time we get corn done, you know, the soils and, and the spring is, you know, moved on a little bit. And so we tend to, you know, we tend to have less of a, a problem or less occurrence of that, uh, you know, happening on the soybean side. So what do growers need to look for out in the field then, Mark? You know, so, um, you know, I think the, the first thing is, is kind of look at, you know, how long is it taking that seed to get from, you know, that planting to uh, emergence? You know, a lot of times we say that should be 90 to 120 heat units. Um, you know, ideally we'd like to see it, you know, it happen in seven to 10 days. Um, if it's starting to happen, you know, 14 to 21 days out, um, that's when we really start getting concerned or if the heat units are uh, increased on it, uh, when we start seeing that. So um, we can kind of gauge a little bit by, you know, just 
you know, looking at the weather and, and saying, well, when should it be coming up? But then if, as, as we start getting out there, then I think we need to look at and, and dig up seedlings to see, did they germinate? Did the radical root, is the, the mesocotyl, hypocotyl, are they extending and, and progressing like they should be? Or have they, you know, died, you know, at, at the seedling stage where we didn't even get um, germination? Or did they um, not get that uh, hypocotyl, mesocotyl to the, to, to the soil surface before they died? Um, so those are a couple keys. Um, another thing is, is as we start to dig up uh, seedlings, uh, you know, a, somewhat of a telltale sign of, a, of, of something a little bit more severe is obviously if that seed has died, but then also if we start seeing some cork screwing on that corn mesocotyl. We are uh, taping Wednesday morning. There's a freeze warning out for several counties in Nebraska and one county in Iowa for tomorrow. What are the dangers here? Um, when, when we hear freeze warnings, that has me really worried, um, partly because, you know, that if we get down to, you know, 20, you know 28, 27 degrees, um, that cold temperature actually penetrates uh, several inches into the soil or has the potential to anyhow. Um, and so that means, you know, that that effect is going to be much greater uh, than if we just got into the 30s. Um, just because we, we tend to have um, uh, pretty good diurnal effects, you know, so during the day the soil temperatures rise and during the night, you know, they kind of go down again. Um, but if we, if we get too low, then that, that cold temperature just penetrates down to where that seed's at and it just creates a, a bigger issue.